Are organic baby foods always the healthiest choice? Join us as we discuss this topic in today's video. New to the Stuff for Tots channel? We cover a range of parenting topics. So if you're seeking advice on your little ones, please consider subscribing. The chances are that you must have heard the term organic in almost all products. Food, cosmetics, beauty products, and much more. The most essential in this category is the food that you consume daily. It goes directly into your system and affects you much more than products used on the surface of the body. Multiple chemicals are used while our food is grown. These include insecticides, pesticides, weedicides, and chemical fertilizers. Spraying these chemicals on plants, crops, and soil protects them from organisms and enriches the soil to increase the yield. The government has strict regulations regarding the acceptable levels of chemical residues on food items. Most food products do not exceed these levels and are considered safe for consumption. People are now looking for organically grown alternatives because of the increasing awareness linking the chemicals with several diseases, especially cancers. What are organic foods? These are food products produced without chemical or synthetic agents like insecticides, pesticides, and fertilizers. There are two types of farming, conventional and organic. In conventional farming, farmers use insecticides, pesticides, and weedicides to kill insects, pests, and molds. These chemicals enter our bodies when we eat this raw produce. Organic produce, on the other hand, does not use these chemical pesticides and fertilizers, resulting in much lower levels of chemical residue. As parents, you take all care to avoid harmful substances during pregnancy that could affect your growing baby. You know that the forming organs and tissues of the child are significantly sensitive to the effect of adverse chemicals that are probably not as harmful to adults. You realize the extra care required by your growing fetus. And you take steps to ensure your baby's safety. Your little one's body systems, including the liver, which detoxifies toxins, are still immature, susceptible, and not as robust as that of an adult. You feel skeptical about exposing your young child to chemical residues and prefer to use organic produce. Some of you may also feel that organic produce would also be richer in vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients, compared to conventional produce. With increasing demand, organic products are now available in separate sections in most supermarkets. Variety is the spice of life, no doubt. But with the increased number of available options, choosing the right product for your baby may be a daunting task. Are organic foods the healthiest choice for babies? You may feel that organic foods should be the food of choice for babies considering their alleged benefits over conventionally produced food. You're not alone. This is a kind of go green revolution called baby organics that seems to be pervading. All aspects of rearing your baby, including the food that he or she consumes. Many of you are also motivated because these are more environmentally friendly. Organic baby food indeed limits the number of chemicals, synthetic products, like pesticides and fertilizers that your baby is exposed to. However, the nutritional benefit of organic baby foods over conventional baby foods is not evident. Some experts argue that lack of evidence does not negate the positive effects of organically grown foods. Also, the negative effects of non-organic foods are well known. Kids are particularly sensitive to chemicals, artificial products, and techniques used in food. Chemicals can affect their brains and the growth of different organs. And the problem is with the repeated and sustained exposures, which can accumulate in the body parts and stay there for years. The United States Department of Agriculture or USDA does not claim that organic foods are safer or more nutritious than non-organic foods. It is your personal choice. Organic foods are typically more expensive than their non-organic counterparts due to the restrictions and requirements in farming practices. It may pose a constraint for you, and it does not mean that you stretch your means to provide organic food to your baby. It also does not mean that you starve your baby unless you have the preferred organic foods. Some parents use indigenous methods like sourcing organic ingredients from local farmers or grocery shops, buying in bulk, and preparing their baby food in food processors. What is important is that you do not restrict a particular food to your child just because it is non-organic. It is necessary to expose your baby to all kinds of foods unless there are allergies or other health conditions. To ensure acceptance to a variety of foods, for balanced nutrition, 
Preventing Nutritional Deficiencies What are the things you should know about feeding your baby? Choose fresh grains, fruits, and vegetables over canned ones. Canned foods have preservatives, are sugar-rich, and may lose some vital nutrients sensitive to processing. Avail seasonal fruits and vegetables, ensuring that you are getting fresh produce. Introduce a variety of foods in consultation with your pediatrician. Developing flavors for different foods set the precedent for a healthy eating lifestyle for the entire lifetime. Washing fruits and vegetables under fresh running water helps wash off pesticide residues to some extent. Some people prefer placing the uncut fruit or vegetable in warm water. If there is chemical residue, it leaves the surface in some time and is seen as oil droplets in the water. You know that this product has visible traces of pesticide residue, and you can avoid buying from this source. Most importantly, be mindful of organic labels. Though manufacturers are expected to follow honest practices, personal gains may offset moral duties occasionally. Though there are regulations in place, you also must go through the list of ingredients on the label. At times, the fine print may reveal traces of high sodium, unsaturated fats, or sugar content. What do the different labels on food products mean? The U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, has set up an organic certification program that requires all organic foods to meet strict government standards, encompassing all aspects like how such foods are grown, handled, and processed. A label that says organic is not sufficient and you must not be misled by it. Any product has to be USDA certified to be certified as organic and say so on the product description or packaging. Such products will carry an official USDA organic seal which looks like this. Which foods have the most pesticides? When planning your baby's meals, it's important to know which foods are safe to consume. The Environment Working Group, or EWG, uses data from USDA to report foods with the most and least pesticide levels. The 2021 Dirty Dozen, or foods with maximum amount of reported pesticides, include the following. Number 1. Strawberries. Strawberries are the most consistent, topping the chart for six consecutive years. They are most likely to retain one or more pesticides even after washing adequately. Number 2. Spinach. The EWG found that spinach contained banned pesticide which is classified as a neurotoxin. Number 3. Kale, mustard, collard greens. These products show pesticide classified as a carcinogen. Number 4. Nectarines. Number 5. Apples. Pesticide that can cause stomach and esophageal cancers was found in apples. Number 6. Grapes. Number 7. Cherries. Number 8. Peaches. Number 9. Pears. Number 10. Sweet bell peppers and hot peppers. These were tested for the first time in 2021, and they contained multiple pesticides. Number 11. Celery. Number 12. Tomatoes. In addition, citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, grapefruit, and mandarins contain a fungicide linked with cancers and hormone disruption. Some of the banned chemicals seen in the Dirty Dozen are DCPA, diphenylamine, organophosphates, chlorpyrifos, imazolil, thiabendazol, imazolil, a fungicide used after harvest to keep fruits from molding on the way to market was found on almost 90% of all the grapefruit, oranges, mandarins and lemons. And they were present even after peeling. Which foods have the least pesticides? EWG has released the list of fruits and vegetables that have the least amount of pesticide residues. The Clean 15 list includes the following. Number 1. Avocados. Its thick skin is one big reason for this. Number 2. Sweet corn. Number 3. Pineapples. The thick prickly skin that is shaved off is a major factor. Number 4. Onions. Number 5. Papayas. Its skin is responsible for this positive trend. Number 6. Peas. The fact that the pods were shelved to remove the peas is a factor. Number 7. Eggplant. The samples were tested with intact peel. Number 8. Asparagus. Asparagus has an enzyme that may help break down malathion, a pesticide commonly used against beetles that attack the vegetable. 
and this helps in reducing the pesticide levels. Number 9. Broccoli. The vegetable contains its own natural insect repellents called glucosinolates. Number 10. Cabbage. It contains inherent compounds that inhibit germs and also prevent cancer. Number 11. Kiwi. The kiwis were tested with intact peel and after rinsing, the skin could be consumed. Number 12. Cauliflower. An associated pesticide imidacloprid can harm bees, which are vital for pollinating food crops. Therefore, organic cauliflower should be preferred to preserve the environment. Number 13. Mushrooms. Number 14. Honeydew melon. The thick rind of honeydew melon protects against pesticides. Number 15. Cantaloupe. The thick rind provides some protection against pesticides. Some amounts of sweet corn, papaya, and summer squash sold in the United States are produced from genetically modified seeds. Choose organic varieties of these crops if you wish to avoid genetically modified produce. Organic baby food brands. Some brands are well known and are available quite easily in most local supermarkets. Gerber Organic, Plum Organics, Earth's Best, Sprout Organic Baby Food, and Once Upon a Farm are some of the available options that deserve a mention. You can check these out and decide what products work best for you and your baby. Organic baby foods are becoming increasingly popular among parents. Mostly due to the awareness regarding chemical and synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. That remain as residues on fruits, vegetables, and other non-organic produce. There is no denying that kids who are fed on conventional foods have higher levels of pesticide chemicals in their urine. As compared to those kids who eat organically grown foods. Though there are no studies that reflect the positive role of organic produce over conventional produce, parents often prefer organic products for several reasons. Preparing your organic baby food using organic ingredients is an easy, cost-effective, and hygienic way of striking the right balance. If you want to purchase organic food, be sure that you are aware of the various terminologies and regulations of the USDA. Read the ingredient list carefully and make an informed decision knowing what you are opting for. But don't get hassled. With your heart in the right place, you will always make the right decision for your baby. Do you opt for conventional or organic produce when it comes to feeding your baby? We'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to get notified of new parenting videos as soon as they're available. Thanks for watching.